for this animal control officer and animal control manager, same thing? No. Or two different. Two different. I'm, I'm you're the manager, manager and, and the shelter the manager officer. and PC officer, yes. Before we move on, can we go back to 90.01, letter E? Uh -huh. Were we just going to strike um, carry firearms from letters from C? That was my understanding. Okay, so I just want to make sure we're all on the same page there. What are, what are we doing now? On the top of page three, um, it's actually a continuation of letter E. Mm -hmm. Right there, past letter C, where it says carry firearms. We're just going to strike out carry firearms. So that way, this this ordinance doesn't address it at all. Right. Section 90.02, dog and cat control number B, licensing and rabies vaccination. Um, page 3, we are omitting licensing. And paragraphs number 4, 5, 6, and 7, and 8 in their entirety. Additional uses of the word licensing will be omitted throughout this chapter. Um, we discuss the licensing at the um, February 2nd, I'm sorry, it was February 10th Animal Control Board meeting. Um, though we had spoken to um, the city or the county prosecutor, um, and he stated that up until 2006, licensing was a state statute and was probably the best means of controlling stray dogs. In 2006, the state, oh, they they did away with it. So, yeah, and um, so um, after much discussion, we decided that um, we would use the um, rabies vaccination in lieu of the licensing. Um, it does uh, cover most of the same things we were trying to do, animal identification, um, helping uh, uh, the uh, animal, you know, to find its home more quickly. Um, it is definitely a state statute, so therefore it is enforceable, more so enforceable than the licensing would have been. Um, so therefore we decided to not do the licensing. We will just require that all dogs wear their rabies vaccination tags. That is actually a, um, I believe it's a class, I'm not sure, it's an infraction with the state. I think it carries a $500 fine for harboring an animal not immunized against rabies. So then if you apprehend an animal mm -hmm. that does not have that tag, what do you do? Well, first of all, we would ask them to get rabies. I mean, you know, we're going to, to give them an effort to correct that. Um, and most people comply. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, the, the, issue, the other issue is that their dog is running at large. And if they've already had a warning, they may get a written uh, violation notice. And we are raising that to $100. It was $25 in the last ordinance. Or do you guys administer shots there at the shelter? Not rabies. We do vaccinations for the animals that come in as strays, or if an owner surrendered animal comes in that is not up to date on its vaccinations. We administer those with vaccinations, but we can't do rabies. That has to be done by a licensed veterinarian. I'd be almost a little concerned about that. They have to provide proof of rabies. I mean, if they do not have rabies tag or proof uh -huh. of rabies shot. They don't get their dog. That's, <laughs> I was trying to understand that when yeah. you asked that question. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. They have to do that before. 
Yes. Okay. Now, what we do is they, if they do not have the proof of rabies, um, if I say they just don't, they didn't, they didn't get the rabies vaccination, or they can't find the tag, or they can't find the papers, and whatever, then they have to go get a prepaid rabies vaccination from the vet and bring that receipt into us, and we make a copy of that and attach it to their records. But you can adopt dogs. Do they have rabies shots when they leave? Or don't? Well, if they are old enough, yes. Uh, they have to be between four and six months old, and that's included in our adoption fees. Uh, what they get if the animal is under four months old and they're not able to be vaccinated against rabies, they get um, a they can go to either of the local vets and get that free with their receipt from us. And we have um, now that we have our animal control management program, if we get a dog in and we have had that dog in before and we see that they did not follow through with their rabies vaccination the first time, then we can be a little more strict the second time and perhaps impose a fine. So. dog and cat control again uh, number B rabies vaccination uh, number three page three we are adding um, the rabies tag must be attached to the collar of the dog and worn at all times tags are not transferable and since we aren't doing the licensing we will be really pushing that that the dog does have to have the tags on in lieu of a licensing tag They were running at large, they'll have issues with that. Um, no, but what I'm asking about for rabies, right? If they have a tag, they, and don't, it's have up to date. Show, they don't have to show proof. Either. If the tag is up to date, right? They can call we can check the vet. Yeah. yeah, and then of course, when we do that, we have the information about the owner and all of that. Um, section the next one section 9002 dog and cat control number C permits and number D issuance and revocation of permits and licenses pages 4 and 5 we are omitting sections C and D and changing permits to kennels and we're using the verbiage from the city zoning ordinance just I pulled it right out of the city zoning ordinance uh, it states kennels Per Greensburg, Indiana, Chapter 155 Zoning Code, kennel, any premises or portion thereof on which more than three dogs, cats, or other animals over one year of age are kept. Kennels are prohibited in the residential R districts, allowed as a special exception in the B business B districts. Issues of animal control remain under the jurisdiction of the Decatur County Animal Control Board. Here again, we have we don't have the staff to drive around and stop at everyone's house and count their animals. <laughs> but if we get a complaint from a residence that has five unneutered or unspayed female pit bulls, you know, uh, we will use that to our advantage. The um, zoning ordinance. animals yes so how would that be addressed in your house with four or five dogs? well first I think we, we would contact um, Kathy Crippen um, with the zoning and proceed from there I'm sorry was that her maiden name you know, it's a small town. You never lose that thing. <laughs> I think she's hiding.